Developing now new charges in the condo killing in Dunning. Police say a 66 year old former condo board president snapped this weekend and shot five people to death. The former truck driver was arrested for the first time in his life on five counts of first degree murder. CBS 2's Chris Ty is live at criminal court where prosecutors outlined the case against him. Chris. Erica, Brad, you know all so well that the judges here have seen just about anything. In this case today, the judge in this building said this case is evil on steroids. The man who lived in his Dunning condo for 25 years has a spotless record. Tonight, he is charged with the deadliest attack in Chicago in almost four years. I think you're looking for me. I did it. That's how police say a bloodied Christoph Merrick greeted them Saturday in his front yard here at Irving Park Road near Oak Park Avenue. Minutes before, a family of four upstairs in 2D sat waiting for a fifth family member to arrive. Instead, the 66-year-old grandfather of six, originally from Poland, stormed in with a 40 caliber handgun. The defendant approached the four victims in the kitchen and fired numerous shots, striking all four victims. All four bodies dropped to the floor around the table. Police say he then moved upstairs to 3C, shooting a fifth resident in the abdomen. Then after she tried to flee out the back, he shot her in the back of the head. She later died. After his alleged confession, police found two notes written by and for Merrick, reading, quote, no mercy. Remember, whatever expletive they do to you, you control it, not them. Enough. They have to pay for it. And another, tomorrow, no mercy without any stupid hesitation. Remember who you are. Remember what this expletive is doing to you. Enough. He lived here for 25 years. But two years ago, neighbors tell me he turned angry. Two years ago, he lost his title as condo president as bookkeeping got sloppy. Two years ago, as CBS2 uncovered, he filed for bankruptcy. Two years ago, foreclosure lawsuits were filed against him. He was to be forced out any week now. Neighbors were bracing for something as he exited, but not something that would leave crosses in the front yard. One for each of the victims, husband and wife Tis Fatanka Kostadinova and Ivalyo Popov, her mother Iskra Porel Popova and her boyfriend David Hanek, and Jolanta Topolska, who lived upstairs. Neighbors say just this past summer there was an incident between Merrick and the son of one of these victims. Out of the blue, they tell me, he just punched him in the face. Irritability popped up very violently in the last couple of months. He's being held without bond tonight. Live at 26th in California, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.